At this point, we want to see the shirt and the three-part avatar, so select both the second and sixth layers. Make sure to give the body a bright color. To do this, select it and then make sure you have the editing panel open, which I do. So we want to select the body, hit new, give it a bright red color. Okay. Repeat with other parts if they will be covered by parts of the outfit. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and do the other parts anyway, even though I don't need them for the shirt. So I'm going to hit new. I'm going to go to the shading panel and assign the same material. An alternate way, still in the shading panel. Hit add new here and the material. Now look at this number three. This three tells us that this material is assigned to three different objects in the scene. So if I wanted to color all of them a different color, I'll just do it for more material. Let's go back to my red. Okay, and now let's open a UV window. to just put it here. Select the upper body of the avatar and go into edit mode. Okay, hit A to select all the vertices. Go over to UV window, select all again with A. Make a new image. We're going to do 512 by 512 for this, even though this is going to be double our final resolution. Now tab back into object mode. At this point you want to select the shirt and then shift select the body. Make sure you do it in that order. Now hit F10 to bring up the window. window. I'm going to go to bake, select it to active. This will make sure that you're baking from the shirt to the avatar texture. Let's pick textures. Make sure your margin is above one. That makes sure that pixels are baked a little bit outside of the UV outline to be safe. And now just hit bake. And once the bake is done, you can see how it looks on the avatar by activating the texture display. So here we go. Go to texture. Zoom a little bit here. If you still don't see the texture, go to the objects panel by hitting X7. Then change the draw type for the avatar to shade it. And now we see that we have the same texture. Let's change the draw type on the shirt to solid to make things easier to see. Okay now, so the bright parts of the texture represent where the avatar's body will show through. Basically this tell, tells me this red part is where the skin would be that we want to see. This white part under here is what we don't want to see. Okay, so let's go and touch this up. Let's go into texture paint mode. Actually, make sure we have the avatar selected here. Then go to texture paint mode. We want to go to editing window. Click this color box and then pick the sample eye drop. Do that again. So we can get the color. Now we want to change the opacity to one. 
we want to change, turn off project paint and we want to paint in these areas we want the areas to be under the clothing a little bit Okay. You can also paint in the UV window. You want to click Enable Image Painting. You can hit C if you want to to bring up another paint window. And then you can just paint directly in here. You don't have to worry about staying in the line. Just make sure not to add your bright color to areas that you want visible. It's the only thing you need to worry about. Okay. Once you're happy with your image, go ahead and save it. to wherever you're going to put your images. And you can save this target or paint. Also one side note is that you also might want to go in here with your armature control tab. You might want to move it around just so you can make sure that everything is where you think it should be. Now back in object mode. And hit three to straighten this up a little bit. We're going to go through and save out our t-shirt LOD levels and our physics shape. But first, we want to click the highest LOD, the one attached to the skeleton, and then go to the editing panel is already open here. And under modifiers you want to click make real. If you don't do this the item will not import as rigged in Second Life. Okay. So with the high LOD still selected go to file export Let's move this down a little bit first. And go to File, Export, Cloud 1.4. Here's what you want to have activated. You want to check triangles only export selection only current scene you can check relative paths and you can check apply modifiers if you want to but that's optional and then name your file and export Repeat that process with the other LODs and physics shape. So you want to go through here one by one. I'm going to change this back to solid. Select it and then export. Select then export. We'll do that all the way down to the physics shape. In the next part, we will take a look at making the final alpha texture in GIMP. This part can be done in any image editor. I'll be using GIMP since it's freely available to everyone. However, I will post some on-screen instructions for Photoshop users. So Shift plus O to select the color.
click your bright color and then right click the layer and hit add layer mask choose selection go up here and select none okay alt click the mask icon to show it you can clean up any stray specks at this point so I'm going to get the brush some black paint then white paint clean up around these edges remember you don't have to be super neat with this remember that the invisible parts of this image will be invisible on the alpha layer in second life so you don't have to worry about what's invisible what isn't invisible the color doesn't matter alright so we can alt click mask it in to bring it back and now we want to go to image scale image and bring this down we don't need it to be this large okay and then just save the image as a ping or a TJ file which I've already done now we can go on to the last part of the process and upload the model